Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. It is Wise Guy here, and today, Battlefield World Premiere. Gear up your squad. Need you tune in to Battlefield World Premiere on May 6th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the link is down there in the picture. Now, this is on Battlefield 4's main menu screen. I do not know about Hardline because I do not play that game because that is not a real Battlefield game. My opinion, not yours, maybe, but I digress. Anyways, I hope you will tune in on this. I will sadly not be able to. I will be at school all day. So, that's a damage. But hopefully I will be able to edit more videos and get better videos as the school year is ending. I only have two weeks left. Let's hope I get there without having a stroke, a heart attack, or an anxiety attack. So, let's get into it. But, other than this announcement, I do have something very, very special I want to show you. I have made a weapon class for... Each time period, I have made a weapon class for World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, and Modern Warfare, War on Terrorism, whatever you want to call it, really. It's all around just sort of World War Three in the making. But, let's get in. Now, what we have here first off is the M40A5. This is a recon World War One class. The M440A5 is a sniper rifle, one of the first you unlock. Its optic is iron sights, accessory, no accessory, no barrel, the standard barrel, no auxiliary, and the paint is worm woodland. Now this looks like a classic World War I rifle you would see on the battlefield. Next up for the World War I, we have the .44 Magnum, otherwise known as the 44 Mag. Its optics and accessories and barrel are all the standard and or no sights. And now we have the flat urban to give it that old antique look with the handle. Now they did use semi-automatic pistols, but you would every now and then see a revolver. Lastly, this is the entire kit for the Recon World War One class. It's the M48-5 rifle, 44 mag, no gadget, no gadget, M67 classic frag, the bayonet which we would attach to the rifle, and the field upgrade is shadow so we can sneak through the trenches, and the camouflage is Jaeger. Moving on to World War II, we have the Type 88 LMG. This is a support class. It has iron sights, no accessories, no underbarrel, and, well, it does have a bipod as an underbarrel, but, you know, standard. And it has flat urban again. Give it that old raggedy look. Next up, we have the M1911. This is a U.S. deployed pistol that you would most likely see with no sights, no accessories, and no barrel. And again, you will see this again quite a lot. Flat urban to give it the old antique look. Now finally we have to load out the Type 88 LMG, M1911, Gadget 1 is M224 Mortar and an ammo box to resupply with, as a mortar would use artillery shells, and the M67 Classic Grenade, Bayonet which you would attach to a rifle again, a defensive field upgrade, and a camouflage of splinter.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to my favorite time period other than World War II is the M16A4 Vietnam. So let's go. Iron sights, no accessories, no barrel, no attachment, and again, flat urban. All this pretty casual. Now we have a copy and paste pretty much from World War II. It is the M1911 with flat urban, standalone barrel, standard, no accessories, and optic sights. Because again, this was still a very commonly used pistol in Vietnam. Finally, we have to load out the M16A4, M1911 secondary weapon, gadget 1 is a medic bag, gadget 2 is the defibs, grenade is an M67 frag casual, and the knife is a bowie knife to cut through the jungle. We have combat medic and Jaeger as the camo, although the camo can be debatable depending on the terrain. Alright, moving on to the last category, if you will. We have the M416 for modern war, terrorism, whatever. ACOG scope, flashlight, R2 suppressor, and stubby grip, default paint, as this is supposed to be a stealth SEAL Team 6 operators class. For the pistol, we have the M9 or the M9 Beretta, as it is called in IRL, ghost ring, and flashlight, and a QSW06 suppressor, as again, it's supposed to be a SEAL Team 6 covert ops pistol. And finally, we have the M416 as primary, M9 as secondary medic bag, 3M or M320 SMK smoke for getaways, M84 flashbang, the weaver knife for stealth kills, and the combat medic, and the M Pratt desert, though camo again could debate on situation. Soldier just got tagged as HPT by the enemy. 